and we're back with another video. And this time it is in the spring. We are getting ready to work on our garden, which is fantastic. And there's some work to be done because last year our garden didn't do so well. We didn't have a lot of bees or pollinators around. So uh, we let things just kind of go wild and the bees started coming around. So while we didn't have a lot in our garden, um, what we decided to do this year is to plant some local wildflowers so the pollinators keep coming back. And I'll show you our garden where it stands. I mean, you can see it behind me. It doesn't, didn't fare too well. And we gotta clean it out and everything. Uh, so this is the beginning of all of that. But um, we decided to take our third flower or third garden bed, I guess. And we're gonna use that strictly for flowers. So I'm gonna show you what needs to be done, the work we're going to be doing. So first of all, we have this bed over here and um, there was some stone around here. It was here when we bought the house and took the stone out and we could see that the wood has rotted away. And so I bought some new wood. I'm gonna be replacing this. We're gonna clean this out and uh, get all the weeds out and everything. We're not going to use this one for food. We're strictly using this for flowers. So we're going to buy a bunch of wildflowers, plant them here. Um, so my project today is to take this rotted wood out and replace it. I've already bought new boards, so um, I won't be doing that today. I got to take these out as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then let's go over here and look at the garden beds. So we, like I said, we just kind of let them go a little bit. Um, we got to get all the weeds out and everything. Um, the good news is that the bees have been coming back and that's been great. So I think we expect to have a better garden this year. Um, so today we're gonna clear out all of the weeds, get it ready. Um, I don't expect any more freeze warnings or anything like that. I may wait before hooking up the irrigation system that you see in there. Um, and then these are the garden beds we built last year in the video, and you can see how they're faring. Um, they just look weathered, of course, but they're still really solid. Uh, we are going to stain these. We have a natural stain that we purchased. It's made from like a whey byproduct, and um, when we get to that, I'll show you what we're using for it um, because it's basically chemical free. It's a natural stain uh, to preserve the longevity of these flower beds. Also, here is the strawberry tower I built. We need to put, I built this from cedar and we put these strawberries in. Um, we may end up replacing them. They need a little uh, TLC. I built this from cedar fence planks and it's doing well. It's holding up. Um, however, uh, we got to add some more soil in and everything. And then here's our second garden bed. You can see how it has fared. This is our basil. Like we let the basil just grow and it started to blossom. All the bees were coming around. We we're really happy about that. And so uh, today we're clearing this out. Uh, we tried to just let it grow. Um, we didn't want to disturb all the bugs doing what they need to do for the soil to make it good. But you can see in here, interestingly enough, the mint came back and has taken over. So we're going to take some of this mint and we will take the mint and begin to pot it. Put some in pots, but it smells amazing. Love that. And uh, get the irrigation system in here going as well. So we'll do that. So there it is, the two garden beds. And then we're gonna use that one for flowers, local flowers to bring the pollinators in. And then, as a side project. Oh, and you may have noticed the last time we were working out here, our fence was in a horrible, horrible condition. And we ended up replacing about 90% of it, about all new planks and restained everything. So you'll see the fence around the house like so. Um, yeah, we had, that was like our summer last year, just replacing this entire thing all around and staining it. And uh, whew, what, a, what a job that was. So we're, on top of that, we are also going to be uh, building 
or working on creating a courtyard. So last night we had a fire and just sitting out here enjoying the fire was fantastic. So let me show you what we've done. So a couple things for the courtyard is we had to buy a bunch of pavers. You'll see all of that here, about 400 pavers in total there. And then we're moving our hot tub from out of our screened in patio and we're going to be moving it out here to the courtyard. So we bought some of these pavers to these uh, 12 by 12s to put on there. Um, and this is where we're going to build our courtyard. So in this area over here, we laid down some of the big slabs of stone you'll see. But our intention here is to clean all this out and we're going to take this part of the flower or plants and stuff, take it out and then come across. And we're going to make this like a little courtyard area. So we bought leveling sand. We have plenty of sand. Uh, so the idea is to take this part out over here and have it we're going to use pavers. We're going to use some pea gravel as a border around, go all the way around. And uh, this is a nice area for us because the wind um, isn't as strong over here. Like the, everything is blocked in. And so in the morning when we like to sit outside and have our coffee and whatever, you know, or sometimes in the evening if I'm going to smoke a cigar or have a glass of bourbon, something like that. Like it's a nice area to sit in, um, especially because the wind's not kicking up around here where normally we sit out on our patio area over there, which is nice. And at night the lights are on and it looks great. Um, it's still a neat area, but just wanted something like a bit of a courtyard. So that is going to be our um, I guess summer projects, I guess, for to this time. You'll see all the bags of sand and stuff around. And I've got pea gravel, sand there. We have more sand over there and more sand there because it's going to take a lot, a lot of leveling. So that's everything we have going on. However, just so you know, today we're focusing solely on the garden. We're not going to do anything with the courtyard quite yet. Um, so I'm going to get started on that and then I will pick back up and show you how things are looking. Uh, my first job is to rebuild that over there. I need to get the boards out that I purchased and build a whole new bed taking this out. So it's going to be a bit of, a bit of work today and I'm super sore from unloading um, all the brick and all the pavers and gravel and sand yesterday. Our bodies are broken but we can't stop. Won't stop. I don't know. That reminds me of something. I'll be back with an update on uh, building this thing. I am back and it is a little later. Just wanted to share an update where we are with our garden and the work we've done today. So over here is my daughter playing basketball. Uh, but over here, I replaced all the wood around the bed. Like I said, I was going to, and I had to take these out. They were all like right up front in here and so that was quite a chore, so I'm going to get rid of those. But uh, basically replace this. We're leaving in the dandelions because we need the bees to keep coming back. Same thing with kind of weeds, even though they're weeds with flowers. It's okay for right now. Um, next week, once we start getting flowers and stuff and planting them in here, um, that's going to be what is going to happen for this. Uh, so we'll get some beds in there. So let me show you. We went ahead and cleared out the beds. Uh, my wife did all this took all the other stuff out that you saw in there. Um, that's a, not all of the mint, that's a lot of the mint. And we went ahead and potted it and watered it. 
put our irrigation system back in. And an interesting thing was uh, we found some strawberries. So our strawberry tower here must have come in and added some. Um, so we left these in here for now. We got a couple of strawberries we're leaving in here. And then we also pulled up some, we're clearing it out. We found a couple, so we put them in here. I don't know if these are gonna make it. We kind of had these in, um, we had a hard freeze in the winter. I should have wrapped it. Um, we didn't, just it was a long winter. And so we had another plant, so we put it in there. And then it looks like we have another strawberry plant going here. So we'll see how this does. If we need to replace any of these plants, we'll do that, um, strawberries. So there's that. Um, here's the other garden bed, all cleared out and ready. We put two bags of soil, we may need a little more, um, but that's gonna be, we're gonna wait until we get uh, the stain going. So next week we're gonna stain because we're gonna have some good weather and it needs a good amount of time to cure. It's gonna rain later today, so we don't intend on staining quite yet. We'll do that later. And then there's this giant weed my wife pulled out of the garden and again, trying to leave some things for the bees because uh, we want them to keep coming back. One thing I did fail to mention is after Halloween, we had our pumpkins. We had several pumpkins and we left them out here. We brought them out here to just kind of rot. So we had this corner in our yard. We didn't know quite what to do with it. Um, so we threw them in here. You'll see like pumpkin remains all in here and seeds. I think the birds have been getting some of it, but I don't know. We're just gonna kind of let this go and see. We're gonna pull the weeds out and I don't know, see if we get a pumpkin patch going there. So that's what we did for the garden. And then I'll walk you over to what we did for our daughter. Did some hard work today. She moved rocks around for our courtyard. And so I'll show you what she did here, prepping us for that and I need to clean the fireplace out. So basically we had the pile of rocks that were over here. She couldn't get the big ones, so I'll move those, but she got all the small ones out. And then we also had a border of rocks that were along here um, on this, and she went ahead and pulled all those out because actually we're gonna Probably take a little more out and complete it out here. So we have some transplanting to do with all of those plants and get them elsewhere. And so that was a little bit of a project that she was able to do. And then over here is where she piled all the rocks. So she piled them right there. So a good amount that we have to work with uh, to keep building out our border and everything. So yeah, that was our, that was our work today. Um, so again, I didn't really show the, like how we did everything and all of that. I didn't feel it was necessary because it's really just pulling weeds and pulling things out. I already built the garden beds, um, did a video on that. So I'll just put a link to that video down below so you have it and see how I built them. I did not put a ledge on this one like I did for the others. So the original garden beds, I put this like ledge up here and it lets us sit down and while we're working um, to do things. Since that one is just strictly flowers, I did not feel it necessary to put a ledge on it um, and I don't know I say that now but we'll see um, so this one no ledge it's just basically gonna be filled in with flowers yay so I'm gonna throw all this stuff away um, save our other things for when we plant and yeah that's our that's my update for today on the garden and um, as we start planting and getting things in there I'll keep you all posted um, I feel like the garden's gonna be a more of a 
focus for us this year because we, like I said last year, we really didn't get a lot from it. It was, didn't have a lot of pollinators. Um, so we're doing our best to ensure we have things that are flowering and keeping them. Um, so the bees will remember and uh, hopefully they come back and butterflies, all that kind of good stuff. And so there it is. Um, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I think I'm gonna have a cigar and some bourbon uh, to just kind of wind down because my back is, uh, yeah, it's done. It's done for the day. So um, stay tuned. We'll catch you all later for other videos. L please like and subscribe. Helps our channel out greatly. Leave a comment. That interaction is also very important. And also visit our blog, doingallthings.com forward slash blog for more like lifestyle and healthy tips and ideas and all that kind of stuff and we'll be posting progress as we build all this stuff and we'd love for you all to be part of that journey so uh, let us know in the comments if that's something you kind of content you want to see other than that i will catch you later